Hi guys, it's Miss Shop Slot and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Uh, I've been a little MIA again because we have been putting new floors in and it has been quite a process, but it is done and it looks gorgeous and I now have time to do a video, so here I am. I will start with the clothes that I got first and then move on to the other goodies. So the first thing I bought was this. I just thought it was so pretty. It is a Danier leather jacket bomber jacket is an extra small this was nine dollars it's in gorgeous condition it has the buckles on the sleeves and this is the back so freaking cute so that was nine dollars next up is same place um this cole Haan jacket this I thought was super pretty with the quilting and the leather and the gold this was nine dollars as well um these are all from the same all from the same place I believe goodwill <clears throat> um this is a t-shirt it is I'm probably gonna butcher the name Takeo Kikuchi, <laughs> and it is just a basic striped tee. This was $4. These retail for over $100. It's crazy. Uh, the next thing is this. Oh, God, I wish this fit me. Obviously, it's nowhere near my size. It is the size four, but it is so freaking pretty. It is a Anna, is it Anna Sue or Anna Sui? dress it is black with fringe and then fringe at the bottom so 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 pretty this was six dollars <throat> the next item was I believe this was three and it is a authentic linen Celine shirt it has the rivets here rivets here and then the rivets all around the bottom so that was a very nice score the next is for me uh, the inspiration it is only a size and a half smaller than I wear, so it's not super ambitious, but it's good enough. I bought this bathing suit. It is brand new with tags. It was $4. And it looks like this. I just thought it was so pretty. And then the sides are like a mesh. So I normally wear <clears throat> a little skirt thingy over, even when I was 115 pounds and 18 years old, <laughs> I still was always self-conscious about my thighs and butt being shown in public. So no matter what size, I will always wear a little skirt on the bottom. So, I mean, I give it... I wish I had the confidence that I see on the beach with some of um, my plus size, plus size beauties that can just go out there and rock that bathing suit and they look good and I'm just like, yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. But to each their own, I wish I could. I wish I could wear white, but no, not, not I and I'm okay with it. All right, enough babbling. Uh, so let's see. Let's do the jewelry first. I got this bracelet. It was $2.99 and it matches my Louis Vuitton leather. It is very close, if not Vuitton leather. So I picked this up to match with my purses. Uh, next thing, actually this was half off, so it was $1.50. Next thing were these Ugg 
flip flops. These were $5. They are in excellent condition. These were for me. The next pair. Oh, I was supposed to be doing jewelry. I'm just jumping around. Here's the other thing. It is a belt, but I have since worn it as a choker where it goes around twice. And it looks good. So it's this gold snake and it goes like this and then I have this going down and it wound up like laying right between my cleavage so that was hot. That was a dollar <coughs> at a garage sale. Uh, Alright that's it for jewelry. Shoes? Back to shoes. <laughs> I got these Uggs sandals. These were ten dollars. But they are brand new and they are super super pretty so I picked those up I bought these two at the same store savers they are Henry Bendel flats hold on they're a little crushed looking from being in the the bag but we can fix that so they're these black, shiny leather, excuse me if you hear some hammering going down stairs, they're still working a little bit. Uh, so these were $8.50. Next, same store, were these Loffler Randall. These are so cute too. These were $8.50 as well. Again, they're a little crushed from being in the bag. They're the cap toe loafers. But not least for sandals are these Crocs. Y'all know I love my Crocs. If you're new to my channel, I support Crocs 100%. Except for the god-awful, iconic looking Crocs. So these were $5. Super duper comfortable. Love the sequins. And I bought those for myself as well. Then boots, I bought these. I bought a pair before, but they do wear out <coughs> on the backs. And they are the Minnetonka fringe boots. They are, like, brand new. There's very little wear. $5.39 for those. And last but not least for the shoes are these. I believe these are Mori. So these are Maurice's and they are brand new. They were $10.39 and they are wide calf, which is hard to find at a thrift store in my size and brand new. So I picked these burgundy ones up and now I'm good with boots. So I have light gray, dark gray, tan, black, two pairs of black, burgundy, and that's it. Oh, I need a pair of dark brown ones. Oh, gosh. No more boots. Uh, these I picked up <clears throat> for $2.99. And they're just black leather gloves with fur around the sides. And they are lined. They're super warm and cozy, and it's about to be winter. And I'm not looking forward to it. They say it's not supposed to be a bad winter. We'll see. Uh, okay, so then I found these glasses. They are so cute. And normally, I don't like to pay this much, but I bought it from my local thrift store, which does a lot for the homeless community. So I don't mind spending the money there, if that makes sense. Because I know it's going to a good cause. Uh, these are Prada Cat Eyes. They are so, so cute. And these were $20. I swear I can't go in there and come out unscathed. I always, wind up, I either spend nothing or I spend 40 or more in there. Uh, next thing. All right, let me... You do this. So I got this 
crossbody. It is fossil. It's in excellent condition. I believe this is a vintage bag. I think so. And this is the inside. I mean, it's like new. This is amazing condition. This was, I think this was three, three dollars. The next one I bought, which I thought was so pretty. I love this rose gold pink. Okay, well, that'll be last. <laughs> it's stuck. All right, so we we'll went it. to a rummage sale uh, last weekend, and this is what I got. Uh, all these and this right here are from the same sale. This coach wallet was a quarter. I can just clean it up. has a couple ink marks. I should be able to get those out. And I should be able to get this nice and clean. And this was a quarter. So the, the wallets were a quarter. The smaller bags were 50 cents. No. Yeah. The smaller bags were 50 cents. And then she gave me the fossil for a dollar for both. So this was 50 cents. I love this. It is a La Sport Sack red and navy blue polka dot crossbody, brand new. And it came with <clears throat> this little pouch for 50 cents. The next was this fossil set for, I don't know if she charged me 75 cents for the set or a dollar for the set, but regardless, it is this fossil owl crossbody really good condition and the matching tote the tote has some wear it has some wear here a little on the corners and inside's pretty good so that was 75 cents for the set. Now, I can get this guy off. This was $6, but I think it's so pretty. It's Nine West, which I usually don't buy unless it's something spectacular. And I just, I really, I love this bag. It's the shiny gold and pink crossbody. This is the back, has a pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, pocket there. It's brand new for $7, or yeah, $6, sorry. I picked that up. And then onto this side. I got this Paloma Picasso bag. It is authentic. A lot of times these are fake. And it was six dollars. This is the inside. Really good condition. Little conditioner and she will be good as new. The next two, um, this is from the Goodwill. This Kate Spade was $5.39. And it's almost like that Tiffany aquamarine turquoisey blue. Uh, it does. It does have. This is where the the bag is supposed to, but this side is is missing. So I just hung it on those. I'm gonna put it on these eventually, but I mean, it's fine. A little cleaning. Inside's okay. And that again was five dollars and last but not least is this I'm not sure why it was so cheap if they didn't know if it was real or what but it's in really good condition the only thing I can see is the the patent has like almost like somebody wiped it down with something so I'm gonna see if I condition it if I'll bring back I mean, it's really not bad. I mean, the handles are really pretty good. This is the 
back. This is the bottom, which is super easy to clean. And then the inside. And it was six dollars, seven dollars. So that's it for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will be making another video and putting it up ASAP. So as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.